Good day, my dear viewers, listeners, and learners. I am Maria Isabel M. Monteverde, your first speaker for today. And welcome to our midterm's first lesson in functional English for the first semester in the school year 2020 and 2021. Before we jump into our topic, let me show you first the objectives for this lesson. Okay, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to first recognize the imperatives in conducting or hosting a well-planned and organized conference done in any platform. Second, perform mock conference applying the different forms of platform. And the last but not the least, apply the rules in parliamentary procedure in planning and organizing conferences using different platforms with program and invitations. So, this will be the outcomes of you after learning our topic for today. But before that, let me ask you a few questions. So, do you have any experiences in attending gatherings, like weddings, reunions, meetings, or conferences? What roles did you portray in, in the gatherings that I have mentioned? Were you the ones behind the scene? Or the ones performing in front. Effective planning and organizing conferences takes time and effort. What are the necessary things to consider in planning and organizing conferences? Why is it imperative to orient ourselves with the steps in its preparation? How to come up with a comprehensive organization in the conduct of the conference? To enlighten our minds, please watch this video clip. Emma has been dreaming about her wedding since she was six. Now she and her fiancé are ready to start planning for the big day. She has a lot of ideas. However, she is starting to get overwhelmed with planning research and advice. Emma just wants a romantic but stress-free and non-cookie-cutter wedding. A friend suggested Epic Event Center. She said, they brought my vision for the dream wedding to life and within budget. It was a once-in-a-lifetime event for me, but they do this on a weekly basis, so they really know what they are doing. Epic Event Center is a family-owned business full of event professionals that are detail-oriented and they strive to make people happy. They have over 100 five-star reviews to prove it. They are obsessed with the details that make a wedding uniquely yours and exactly what you dreamed of. Epic Event Center has upfront pricing with no hidden cost and many design and decor features are included and customizable. They help you and your family treasure every moment of this special event instead of you worrying about all the details. They do all the work. Emma decided to use Epic Event Center. What were the results? Emma had the wedding of her dreams and created an amazing experience filled with memories for her and her family. The wedding was beautiful and stress-free. Now she and her husband can begin their happily ever after. What is a conference? According to eVenues, a conference is generally understood as a meeting of several people to discuss a particular topic. It is often confused with a convention, colloquia, or symposium. While a conference differs in terms of size and purpose, the term can be used to cover the general concept. A convention is larger than a conference. It is a gathering of delegates representing several groups. The types of conferences are symposium, seminar, workshop, and round table. What are the essential elements of a conference? First, is to clarify your objective and target market. What is the purpose of your conference? What would make it a success? Second, topics and agenda. Which topics and questions should the speakers address? Third, guests and facilitators. A capable facilitator is crucial to the success of your sessions or workshops. Fourth, create videos. Incorporating video into your online promotion will result in higher and more responsive engagement. Fifth, email campaigns. These are very effective for conference promotion. Sixth, 
create a conference hashtags. Social media will be your most powerful means of promotion, especially now during the times of the pandemic. Seventh, create a valuable content. Give your target audience interesting content that they can use and share in their lives and in their work. Vital components in the realization of a well and well organized conference must be taken into consideration. If you plan to have if you want to have a successful conference, you must plan and organize it. Planning and organizing is the process of carrying out plans in the establishment of goals, policies, and procedure for a social unit. What are the steps or what are the steps in planning a conference? First, decide on a theme. Every great conference needs a theme. What is the unifying message that your speakers will deliver? Your content must be universal or the or a topic that is trending today, just like the COVID-19 pandemic or the new normal in the educational system of the Philippines and the other and of the other countries. The best themes should be catchy, relatable, and trigger an emotional response. You want the conference to inspire and stimulate conversation, so the theme has to pick up on it. The second step in planning and organizing a conference is to assemble your team. You need a dedicated team of people to assume responsibility for different aspects of planning, negotiations, and promotions. Your core team will likely include the planning team, administration team, the marketing team, the sponsorships team, and the volunteers. Who are the planning team? The planning team are the most responsible for the conference venue or where will be the conference held. Just like, for example, it can be held in the city of Bulaw in the Bulawanong Tinugdan Cultural Center at the city of Tuburan Campus or in the SAC for um, small conferences. Accommodation activities that will be given or played or held during the conference and the catering or the food who are the administration team the administration team are the most responsible in negotiations the budgeting or the money attendee registration ticket and the ticket sales this team or this person will also be the main point of contact for persons Related to the conference, speakers for the conference will contact the administration team if they have some problems or confusions or inquiries about the conference. And also, attendees of the conference will also be contact uh, will also contact the assemb uh, the administration team for some inquiries or questions. Who are the marketing team? The marketing team are the ones who will con be contacting the media. They will create promotional materials like the promotional videos and um, email campaigns. Managing your website, your website like um, Facebook websites in Twitter or the blog and social media activities. Next, who are the sponsorships team? From the word sponsor. So they are in charge of securing sponsors for your conference. They will be the ones applying for grants and for the fundraising if your conference is about um, fundraising for the benefit of your team or your company. Next team are the volunteers. Volunteers will be the one helping with all the on-site activities on the day of the conference. They will be the ones who will have the door management, the ticket scanning on the day of the conference, and keeping track of the guest list 